everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is monique and today's video is one that i have looked forward to for so long so i'm not sure if i ever mentioned this on my channel but one system i have always used for productivity and planning from since like 2016 has been my bullet journal this thing has been through everything with me and i've started and stopped using this so many times that i've never once needed to get a new journal I've literally had this one since 2017 and it's now 2022. But in this video, I wanted to show you guys something else I've been using for my planning and productivity that I've been really enjoying so far and I'm so excited to share with you guys. So late last year, I discovered Notion and honestly, I have not looked back since. Now, this isn't to say that I hate bullet journal. This thing has served me for so many years that I really can never say that I hate bullet journals because it has served so many like uses for me. It's been my primary like goal setting and planning um, system. I've also used it for habit tracking and journaling, but I think I may have found its replacement. But before I show you my setup in Notion, I wanted to show my bullet journal a little love because it has, it has done the work for years. So I've used it for organization and when I tell you like this used to be like my planning for like school I used to plan my entire semester in here I used to track my mood in here like all my assignments were written down in here I used to plan YouTube videos in here this was like the thing that kept me organized I also loved how flexible it was because I was able to pick it up and put it down whenever I was ready if I ever felt like I was in a period of my life where I didn't need it I could put it down and had no fear of wasting pages like a traditional planner you know those planners and diaries that already come dated and once the year has passed if you haven't used this book it's basically useless that's what I feared and that's why I love the bullet journals so much because whenever I put it down I still had all these blank pages that I could just return to and pick up where I left off. I also really enjoyed being creative and having the ability to just express myself within my journal. So this is one of the pages I actually really love. I did these two um, drawings and just pasted them in here and I loved my vision board as well. Like I've done so many little doodles here and there all throughout my journal. And it was a place where I could really be creative. But as great as bullet journaling was, it also came with its cons because it was extremely time consuming. I always hated when a new year or a new month was approaching because that meant I had to sit down and draw more lines, draw some calendars, draw my monthly um, spreads, my weekly spreads, and it just became very time consuming. And one thing I tried to overcome that was printing out these like weekly spreads that I would just like paste into my journal and each box would be like a day of the week and I would write in the tasks I had to do for that day within that box and I mean that worked out for quite a while like that was doing pretty good for the first few months of last year but honestly it still took up a chunk of time sitting down there with a glue gun pasting all these little weekly spreads into my journal and it wasn't something that I look forward to doing anymore. Another con would be that it's very difficult to make your bullet journal look good. And when I say that, I'm not saying I think my journal is ugly, but in comparison to all the other journals you see on the internet, on YouTube and Instagram, like mine just does not seem to compare. And I think that it just comes down to comparison. Everybody else had all this fancy cursive handwriting, the brush pens and everything and mine in my mind just never seemed to compare like ever mine has never looked as good as i thought other people's journals were then there's the price of the supplies bullet journal supplies are extremely expensive like just one of these Leutsch term is how i think it's pronounced 1917 journals is like 20 us dollars and then a pack of like the Tombow um, brush pens, I think, is like another 20 something dollars. Then you have to get the washi tapes and the fine liners and the ballpoint pens, and it just is a lot. The supplies are really expensive. And the final con I could think of was that my journal can be lost. Imagine spending that much money and that much time on a journal just to lose it somewhere and Everything you've planned and organized, it's all gone to waste because everything was in a journal. So I spent some time creating a digital bullet journal within Notion that solves all the problems of traditional journals without compromising the good things. 
So now let's jump into my notion so I can show you guys what all the hype is about. So this is the bullet journal that I created and I'm honestly so proud of it. It turned out really good. Um, so this honestly contains every single thing that I would have had in my traditional journal. So at the start of my journal, I love to have this gratitude and self-awareness and also the ritual section where I can write down the things I'm grateful for, what I'm passionate about, what I want to learn and do this year and also my affirmations. So below that I have my vision board which gives me direction for the year and I love to add in like quotes and things that I really want to keep in mind this year. This is not my actual vision board. I am just showing you guys a copy of what my journal would look like but this is not my personal journal by the way, I should say that. And you can obviously create some more columns if you needed to in case um, three isn't enough. So you can really and truly squeeze everything you need to squeeze within this vision board. And that is honestly one of the things I love about Notion. It's so customizable. You can go in and do something then rethink it and take it out and it doesn't like mess up how your journal looks. Whereas if I had my traditional bullet journal and I put something in there at the beginning of the year and within the year I decide I no longer want to work towards this goal. Tearing that specific picture out would kind of mess up the vibe of the vision board here. Whereas I could easily delete something within Notion and not have it mess up what my vision board looks like. So the next section below that is my goals. And this is a page I would spend the most time on because here you can list out all your goals for the year and there's like so many different um, life areas you can plan for. So you can put your specific goals within each like life area. And there's also a status section where you can see if the goal was completed, if it's in progress, if you haven't started it as yet. And one other thing I love about this is that it also has the top five goals. So once you switch to the top five goals, you can see your top five focused goals for the year. Because as much as we love to set this long list of goals for ourselves for the year, you can only really and truly focus on a few. So this is where you would see your top goals for the year. And I recommend three to five. So you can either switch between the top five view or see all your goals. Now below this is my favorite section. I kind of lied when I said that I spend the most time in the goal section. I actually spend the most time in the planner section. So here you can see a month at a glance and this is what I meant when I was saying I hated drawing lines for calendars. Like imagine having to draw calendars for the entire year in a journal. I couldn't do it anymore. So right here I have my calendar and you know I can put my YouTube videos on here. I can schedule anything else I want to put on here in my calendar. And this is a sync to block within Notion and I'll show you how this can make your life so much easier in a few minutes. So that's your month at a glance and then under here you have your weekly spreads. So I've created a few like mock-up weeks so you can get the idea of what a weekly spread would look like. So let's open week 48 and here you have your weekly spread. And with your weekly spread, I've created this area for your quick links where you can jump between the weeks. So instead of having to jump out of this weekly spread back to the primary page for the bullet journal to then find another week you're looking for, you can easily jump between last week and this week right here from within your weekly spread. So that's the quick links. And then you have your goals for the week. You can set your top goals for the week right here, your focus this week. And on the right, we have the habit tracker. And I love this habit tracker so much. So for each day you tick off what habits you've completed and this gives you a great idea of how consistent you're being in the things that will get you to accomplish your goals. I've also added a little section right here where you can put a quote to inspire or encourage you for this week. So every week you can put in a different quote to encourage yourself for the week. And now we come to the weekly planner. The weekly planner has all seven days from Sunday to Saturday listed out for the week. And under each day, there are three sections. You have your tasks where you can put down the things you want to accomplish for the day. You have your appointments, you know, things to remember, doctor's appointments, assignments that are due. And what I love about these, you can also set reminders so you can get a notification to remind you of different tasks that you have to do. Then there's also the daily summary that you can fill with anything you want. I like to use it to remember like what happened that day. You can also use it for a gratitude section. You can also use it for mindfulness, like whatever you need to do. You can just put that in your summary for the day. And below all of this, we also have the weekly retrospective. And it is so important to look back on the previous week to know what you could have done better so you can step into the new week actually doing better. 
So this section has the like to learn the lacked and longed for retrospective. If you don't like this type of retrospective, you can put in whatever you want. It's completely customizable. And that's what I love about Notion. Like everything you can customize to suit you. So if one week I decide I don't want this type of retrospective, I can replace this with something else and do something completely different. Then we have the notes section, which is kind of self-explanatory. If there are any notes you took that you want to remember within this week, you can put those right under here. And remember when I told you guys about the sync to block for your calendar, this is where it comes in handy. Because let's say that you were within a weekly spread, you know, planning out your week up here, and then you decide, oh, I think I need to see something on my calendar. Like I don't have to jump out of this page to find my calendar it's right under here it's all synced so if I need to see my calendar really quickly I can do that from right in this page so so far I've been really enjoying my digital bullet journal it saves me so much time no more drawing lines and writing in calendars and accidentally making mistakes in the dates on the calendar and having to either like write it out or tear out the page and start over like all of that is done with I have my calendars already set out in front of me and this is the biggest time saver. It also looks really cute. And if you guys don't know, my favorite color is yellow. I think you guys could have already picked up on that just from seeing this journal that I just love to see how this looks. And you can always customize the headers on your page, the colors of your text and make this exactly how you want it to look. It's also extremely cost effective because Notion is absolutely free for a personal plan. All you would need is a device and internet, which I think most of us have anyways. So I'm going to say that this is completely free. It is also 100% safe because I cannot lose my journal. So even if I was to lose my device, my journal is still safe because it's not like a physical journal, it's online. So as long as I have another device, I can get right back into my journal. And just like the traditional bullet journal, it's extremely flexible. So let's say I skipped out a couple of weeks, I didn't need my journal, and then I wanted to pick up another weekly spread. Like the last time I used this journal was on the last week of 2021. So I could just add a new weekly spread. And this is like a one click setup with your um, digital bullet journal for your weekly spreads. So then once my weekly spread opens, all you have to do is just fill in the dates. I think this week three goes from January 16th to 22nd. And you have your section to create your quick links to your previous week and your next week. And you would just come down here and fill in the days. And that is as much work as you have to do to create your weekly spreads. It's that easy. And even when creating your weekly spreads, your calendar will still be synced right under here. So there is one section I forgot to show you guys, and that is the my year in photos section. And here you can just put in your picture you've taken for the year as a little memory book. I've never done that with my traditional bullet journal because I just can't imagine putting like actual pictures like in here and then losing it. But this is something I actually look forward to doing here. And I know a lot of people actually do this as well in their traditional journals. They'll print out pictures they've taken for the year and put it in their journals as memories. So once you've filled in all your pictures, you're going to have a little photo gallery right here for the year and it's going to look so cute. So that is the full tour of my bullet journal in Notion. And if you guys want to get this exact template for your Notion, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to copy this exact same thing. But don't get me wrong, I am not completely done with bullet journals. There is one thing that this can do that my Notion cannot. I cannot draw pictures like this within my notion and that's one of the reasons i am still going to be sticking to a traditional bullet journal this year and just trying my best not to lose it so i recently got this journal as a christmas gift and it's in the color yellow like nadine knows me and she gave me this as a christmas present and that's what i'll be using this year if i have any drawings i want to put in there i can just use it for that but my main planning and everything is going to be within Notion this year. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I hope you can check out the template I have linked down below. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.